Louisiana Beer Reviews, Prestige Beer, imported from Haiti, the island country of Haiti, well half an island or less than half of an island, anyway, 5.6% alcohol, now 5.6% alcohol is interesting because that's around the level of Mickey's malt liquor and Magnum malt liquor, which, what? Oh, I, I thought you saw me yawning. Which are um, strong beers. This is a strong beer. Um, it's won the World Beer Cup in 2010, and I think it won it again. And I mean, in 2000, I think it won it again in 2010. I know, I know, it's won the World Beer Cup twice. Um, Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Heineken bought this company, uh, Brasserie Nationale de Haiti, about two years ago. Okay. Uh, so, the World Beer Cup liked it, gave it a gold medal twice, but uh, Beer Advocate gave it a poor rating, the Bros gave it a poor rating, and uh, Rate Beer gave it a very low rating, 2 out of 100, and a 24 out of 100 for the style. According to their website, this beer uses 75% two-row barley malt and 25% refined sugar. I don't know what that... It sounds like the Oscars. They sometimes sugar. give awards to movies that people that like regular people don't actually like. Uh, like yeah. this, they got gold medals and then. Right, the last two likes it. Latin American beers that I tried, they got very low ratings, and I thought they were delicious. So if that's any 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 indication, this will be good. Okay. Whoops, I'm trying not to spill it. All right. So, let's see here. It's got. I don't know what the lighting is like in here, but it's got some smoke coming out of it. Not a lot, but some. Oh, that's light. I'm trying not to spill it on the carpet. I know, light beer in forever. I tried. Well, it's 5.6, but I don't know. It might be a little stronger than a light beer. Good. I tried a sip of Rolling Rock recently, and it was terrible. <laughs> you didn't like Rolling Rock, huh? Someone was like, that's most of my favorite light beer. I was like, oh. Was it Rolling Rock light or regular Rolling Rock? It was a green bottle. I don't know. Because they make two types. There's the Rolling Rock and then there's Rolling Rock Light. And the Rolling Rock itself is light, so I don't know what the light must be like. Okay, um, <clears throat> we have a um, thin, you don't have any head to support it, so it's gently, but it a very thin white head and a clear, what, straw appearance? Mm -hmm. Looks like straw that you'd see in a barn. Now, from that angle, it's going to look more golden, yeah, from that direction. Okay, but it's light looking. And somewhat bubbly, and it's very clear, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Like champagne. No haziness. Let's go with the aroma. If you ever get a chance to go to Baltimore, by the way, check out the Orioles. Here's a stadium guide that I picked up last month over there. Fantastic stadium. Get it. Get in for pretty cheap. Okay, let's go with the smell test. Okay, just like the other two. It's sharp. Like. You find it's sharp? It has that, um, that's the hop bitterness, I think. But I find it's got a sweetness. Mm -hmm. Almost like a grapey kind of. Grape? It just reminds me of the champagne I had recently, the smell. A little bit kind of, of vegetable. Give a, take a deep inhalation. You might pick up like um like cooked vegetable. Mm-hmm. That's I, what you mean. I find that it has a very similar aroma to Miller High Life. Mm. If that counts for anything. And a lot of people don't like that. Some mm -hmm. people do. It's grainy though, but mm -hmm. wouldn't you say overall it's just pretty it's a typical beer aroma? Yeah. Like nothing outstanding. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm not a big Miller High Life fan. Maybe if there were Rolling Rock there, I'd rather. Rolling uh, Rock over Miller High Life? No, I said maybe if there were Rolling Rock there, I'd prefer the High Life. Oh yeah, I got you. But All right, well let's go with the taste. Kind of bitter and it's strong. Alcohol. Very, you can pick up the alcohol. I find very bitter, very bubbly. Like I can taste all the bubbles, and it's got a it's got a sweeter aftertaste, like like a lighter aftertaste. Like it hits you and then kind of kind of goes down, which is yeah. Uh, there's some good. bitterness. There's some sugariness. There's grain. Corn, I would say. I don't know if it uses corn, but it's a corniness. <laughs> what do you think? Like. You know, like the corn out of the can. Kind of. I'm just distracted by how the, strong the bubbles are. Oh, the super carbonated, huh? Super carbonated. If you gulp this down, you would make a, a huge burp, huh? 
It's very carbonated. It's very strong. Like I said, the, the aftertaste is a little bit lighter, but that helps. If the aftertaste were as strong as the initial hit, it wouldn't be drinkable. It certainly has a an alcohol undertaste. You know, you get a little bit of the alcohol in it, I find, which is reminding me of the Mickey's malt liquor, especially the Mickey's malt liquor. So it tastes more like, you know what a malt liquor is? Mm -hmm. Just an extra strong beer. Yeah. And it's got that malt liquor. A lot of people don't know what malt liquor is. They think it's something different. It's just extra strong beer, but you can't legally so-called call beer beer if it's too strong. It is oddly refreshing, though. Like, I didn't want to do too heavy of a beer today because it's so hot outside, 102 degrees. But this is, it's, it's pretty refreshing, Yeah, actually. for on a hot day, I agree. Mm -hmm. you, we almost did the Bellhaven what Stout. Percent, what percent alcohol 5.6. So it's... Okay, I'll give you an example. The Rolling Rock is like four point something. Mm -hmm. Budweiser five percent. Budweiser is five point oh, and this is five point six. I think if I were eating something with it, it wouldn't be as like like uh, as, as hard to drink. Ooh, like some crawfish. This would be a good crawfish beer. It's really got bitterness in the middle of the tongue. Yeah, good crawfish beer. I agree. Um, I want a good veggie burger right now. Now you know I rate it A excellent, B good. C mm -hmm. fair, D poor, and F undrinkable. How would you do it? Um, I'm usually pretty generous with my ratings, right? Usually, I usually yeah. am more critical than you are, actually. <sighs> um, if I was gonna give it a B, it would be a B minus, because it's just not like ooh enough for a full B. I'm going to go with it. Okay, you say B minus. I'm going to go with a B just because I like that boldness in the flavor. But I can see where you're coming across with a B minus. It's good, but just so. But I do like the bold aspect to it. So I'm going to go out on a limb in a way and say mm -hmm. B. But I'm I just not as, as generous with it if I feel like, oh, I really should be eating something with this beer. Like if I'm drinking the beer and it's like, ooh, such a good flavor on its own. But Yeah, but do you think this, these are accurate ratings from Beer Advocate giving it poor? No. Or uh, rate beer no. uh, two out of one hundred. No, that's two out of one hundred. That's terrible. It's like, <laughs> that's like to me that would be a beer that you would sip and you'd almost throw up. You'd gag and. And yet I bet they up. have like paps higher than that. Oh yeah. But a two out of that's that's a shame. Um, yeah, that's. Um, I could give mm. you some beers that are that way, and you would hate them. Have you ever reviewed Arrogant Bastard Ale? Yes, and the Oaked Arrogant Bastard, and I gave them both A's. I didn't like the Arrogant Bastard that much. Sorry, it was just a... Hey, well, it's oh. not for everybody. There's a new Schinerbach. It's a uh, summer. It's um, It's got like a grapefruit a sort of Shiner. flavor. A new Shiner. Not the Bach. Oh, Shiner. that's a different thing. Yeah, it was a Shiner a new Shiner. Have you over. reviewed that one yet? Oh, that Ruby Redbird? Mm-hmm. No. I wanna... But everybody keeps telling me I need to. You need to. <laughs> Let me know when you do. It's flavored. Okay, mm -hmm. well... Uh, I'm gonna say it's good or just good. She would say, and I'm gonna we're gonna end this review by. I kind of like it the more I drink it. Actually, that has a tendency to happen with me. The more I drink a beer, the more I like it. <laughs> Except for Earthquake, the more I drank it, the more it made me throw up. All right, uh, <laughs> I literally got throw up. All right, only time beer made me throw up. Earthquake, high gravity. Don't ever try that. All right, so les les bon temps relais. This is a pretty good beer from Haiti, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. So we helped them out a little bit, find that one bottle. So. We actually helped out Heineken mostly, so I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans. <laughs>